Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather, sponsored by Subway. As the tropical rain moves out, some of that heat may be moving back in, and meteorologist Angelica Campos is watching all of that for us. That's right. We're training, training not for the best because <laughs> it's going to get hotter once again before the end of the week. But today was all about the rain. And check out this photo sent in to our 10 News Weather Watchers Facebook page. This is from Brittany in Oceanside. You can see the ground entirely wet, and the grass is very thankful for it. In Hamul in Lions Peak, we have a great time lapse from the rain moving in. And this is basically really painting the picture for you. It came down really fast. If you weren't out and about early this morning, maybe you missed it only. So a couple of sprinkles this afternoon, but it's all because of moisture that's now streaming out of the south. And this monsoonal moisture is being picked up by high pressure a high pressure system that will continue to strengthen over the next couple of days and the core of the heat will be building and is set to peak by the end of the week. The humidity is actually making its peak today, although there's still a chance for some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, most likely into the mountains and there's still a few of them as we speak, but very little activity. There is a flash flood watch in effect. Some of those thunderstorms could produce heavy rainfall tomorrow. In our 10 News Pinpoint Rain future cast, you can see here just clouds. Tomorrow morning it should be relatively quiet, but mostly cloudy. And then the next round of thunderstorms will be developing into the afternoon. It'll be uh, right over Borrego, Mount Laguna, where we have that flash flood watch in effect. And the timing will be closer to mid-afternoon. Otherwise, for the rest of the area, the chances of rain will continue diminishing. Tonight, down to 70 degrees in us pretty mild because of all the clouds and the heat wasn't too bad during the day, but tomorrow that is definitely going to change. Going up to 94, El Cajon 93 and Poway 89 degrees in Spring Valley for tomorrow. Upper 80s in Lemon Grove and Mission Beach warming up to about 77 and Rancho Bernardo topping closer to 90 degrees and over towards Vista 84. It's still rather uncomfortable even though it's not as hot as it's going to be before the end of the week. The combination of the heat and humidity always makes it feel much warmer. 83 Mount Laguna, 87 in Julian and triple digits in the deserts where they do have the best chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. Humid on Wednesday, the humidity will start to drop as we change the wind direction on Thursday and Friday, but the highs will average closer to 80 degrees, so toasty at the coast. Over the weekend, it gets closer to normal as we go back down to the upper 70s. Patchy areas of fog in the morning, giving away to sunshine in the afternoon. Inland areas, low 90s for tomorrow. And then here comes the heat on Thursday and Friday, the hottest day of the week. Saturday, Sunday, mid to low 90s. Next week, we should go back to around seasonable in the mid and upper 80s. Mountains and deserts, again, you still have that chance of showers and thunderstorms, some pockets of heavy rain, but the humidity will start to go back down and then the heat goes up. Two words, brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys fans of the Who? Yes. Great fan. And yes. Lee Bob, our floor manager 